I was in a foundry in, in LA uh, working on the Olympic monument. And uh, he, Dick's kind of an art, artistic guy. He knew the guy that owned the foundry, and uh, the guy that owned the foundry told him that, hey, the, the sculptor that's doing the Olympic thing is here. So Dick Van Dyke actually came down to meet me. That's amazing. And then that was uh, it. I mean, he asked you to do that? When he walked in, I, I said, oh, my God, it's Dick Van Dyke. What's he doing here, you know? Right. And I, first thing I said, I'm going to tell everybody that I just met Dick Van Dyke. You know what he said? <laughs> I'm going right. to tell everybody I just met the sculptor for the U.S. Olympic team. That's how, that's how cool he was. So that was gonna I be told him I, he asked me if I did portraits. I said, yeah. So I, I did that little portrait of him. I took it to his, uh, and then I had to, uh, before I did the casting, I want to make sure he, that he liked the sculpture, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you can take pictures of sculpture, but it doesn't really, you don't get the sense and the feel of what it really is like. So I thought, mm -hmm. you know, I got to put this thing on an airplane and go out there and get his okay on it before I have it cast. Mm-hmm. I took that thing on an airplane, uh, flew it out there, went to his house. Uh, he loved it. Uh, and then we uh, did the casting and I delivered it to his house in Malibu. He invited me up there and showed me around his little tiny bungalow he lives in. His wife was there. When I got to his house, he was out in the on the street uh, talking to these little kids in the back of a station wagon. Hey, kids, what's going on today, little Bobby? Or what were their names? Or is this the nicest? I, he's another person that I've just been uh, honored just to meet. Right. You know, I've admired that guy my whole life. Well, and, and I have as well. And he's in his 90s, you know, and I mean, he's just still moving and doing things. And one of the best quotes that I ever heard him say when they asked him, you know, why can you still dance and do these things? You know, he's like, you just got to keep moving. And I said, uh, man, I tell all my friends, you know, I'm going to be 75 in a month. And all my friends, most of them are retired. I go, what are you retired for? You got to exactly. keep moving. 